Yep. All right, so it is, uh, what time is it? A little past one, I think. It's a Saturday. Um, this has had a chance to cure. It's still a little bit tacky and a little bit rubbery in some spots. Um, but it's, it's, it's dry enough for me to handle it. Um, in all, it didn't go as bad as I thought it was last night. Actually, it went very well. Um, as I said, this center section of the hood will be covered by a hood pad, so I'll do minimal prep on this. Um, I'll do some cleanup on, whoops, on the rails here, the side sections, uh, the, uh, the uh, things that you'll see, but in all, uh, it's not bad. Um, it's expected, it's, it's in the shape and the form and uh, the condition that I would have, have expected it to be. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what you're looking at here. You can see in the uh, reflection the lights and how it doesn't look mirror-like. That's normal for a uh, for clear coat. Um, that's not done at a factory or, you know, with whatever. Somebody as skilled as me, anyway. Um, with 1500 grit and then 2500 grit sandpaper and then buffing and so on and so forth, this will come alive. Um, I, will, I, I will be doing that on my fenders and on the car itself, but on parts that you're not going to see covered up with a hood pad, I'm not going to even attempt to. Um, I will do some of that work here on the back of the uh, of the uh, the trunk lid. I'm gonna put these inside. Uh, I think for a little while while I'll, I do the uh, the engine bay and the trunk. Um, it's I think it's 32 or 33 degrees outside right now. Uh, it's at 70. Let's see if I can zoom in on this thing. Yeah. It's just shy of 70 again, so again, that means that conditions are optimal for the chemicals I'm using. Um, and even the humidity is right in the center, that's the bottom one there, of where it should be for painting. So, um, not bad. Uh, my lack of prep work on the back here, where you can see and feel some of these, uh, these bumbly bumblies, it, that's not abnormal. Um, again, I, I I knew that there's some stuff I just didn't I didn't care about. Honestly, um, some things that I just didn't need to worry about or want to worry about, um, and so forth. So I really need to get this done. I've got some some more work stuff coming up that's going to have me off the grid, as it were, and I want to um, get this off my plate, basically. So cold though it be outside it's nice and warm inside and it's exactly what I need so I'm going to continue to move forward um, I've got my space heaters I've got the uh, the trunk and the engine bay oh yeah it's nice and warm ish Let's see how it feels in here oh yeah yeah this is actually warm to the touch um, yeah nice Nice, nice, nice. So I'm gonna pause and get set up and change and get in my grungies and get her done. All right, here's how I look. Uh, right now I just uh, tack cloth the hell out of this thing. Why oh, you damn thing adjust? Tack cloth the hell out of this thing. I have vacuumed it out, I have blown it out. I'm gonna tie up the, uh, the spare tire hold down thing. Uh, with some string in a second, and I'm gonna get right to it. Yeah, this is done. Um, air is full of uh, paint again, but it's not too awfully bad. Um, not a bad job. I've got four coats. I've got a couple of uh, spots I did a little bit extra, like up in there. I may need to I may redo some of that actually. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, let's see how we look up in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna redo that. Give this a few minutes to kind of 
firm up. And then I will uh, just do that back bulkhead and I think some of these areas here. Yeah. All right, I got the engine to be done. This is four coats also. Um, I had to, uh, <laughs> I wasn't able to film because I can't get my tripod that high. I guess I could have suspended my camera from up here, but screw it. Um, not a bad job. I didn't have any runs, which was surprising because of some of the tight spaces I had to kind of squeeze in there to get a decent uh, coating. Um, so I'm going to wait half an hour and then start in on the uh, the clear coat. Uh, kind of let my garage air out a little bit, if nothing more. It's pretty fucking, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I am done. Uh, if you look at the dog bowl there, uh, you see a kind of a white thing sort of on the uh, forward portion of it. That's a reflection. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased about this. Um, <laughs> uh, the trunk looks great, actually. Um, I've got a few, I think, things that I may want to... Uh, maybe that looks all right. That's just a reflection there, too. Yep. This trunk looks pretty good. And this paint is just gorgeous. Um, here is the uh, engine bay. And... I think I may have a little bit here to... Eh, I may just leave that. But... No runs, drips, sags, or other boo-boos. Uh, you'll see some dimpling in the middle, in the metal, M-E-T-A-L. And I couldn't have helped that um, unless I had replaced the entire piece of metal itself, and I sure as hell didn't want to do that. So I kind of took the risk, and there it is. So a lot of that will get covered up with number plates and identifying things and wiring and stuff. So I'm not too healthy. Torqued off, pissed off, hurt. Butt hurt, nothing like that. Um, these suckers, I'm gonna paint with a paintbrush, literally a little tiny paintbrush. Um, I'm gonna probably buff out this portion here. I'm gonna let everything cure for an eon before I start fiddling with it. Um, Look there, you can kind of, well you can, you can see the reflection of the tape I put in there to uh, to hold off any intrusion in there, so, yeah. I don't think I'll do a whole lot with the engine bay, except for the possibility of buffing out, maybe even not that. I, I'm going to have to look at it after it cures, but it's not a bad deal, not a bad, uh, not a bad deal at all. I like what I, uh, I like what I see. I especially like this paint. God, it's gorgeous. So, that's a piece of tape and so forth, but... Let's see if this stuff is... God. This stuff sets up fast. This is good stuff. Alright, so apparently the temperature outside just, uh, just got down to about 20. And I am at... 65? 64, some of the rods. So... I'll let the, uh, I'll turn on my other, I've, I've got one of them unplugged, but I'll turn both of my space heaters on, let it go overnight, and call it a day. Um, not a, not a bad day. I'm very pleased, actually.